Hi guys, this is Serge from thesisteve.com with the fourth video about the WooCommerce integration into Thesis theme. So in the previous three videos we have installed the WooCommerce, we have installed the WooCommerce Thesis Integrator plugin and we have fixed the Thesis theme to be compatible with uh, custom post types archives so that now we are ready to go and edit your templates in order to display your products and your shop. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to create the singular product template for your uh, to display products on, on the front side. So you need to go to your dashboard Thesis Skin Editor. Okay, uh, when you are in a Skin Editor you close the canvas uh, then uh, you just go to edit the product template here. Normally uh, the product template is created automatically by copying the singular template you have right now. So what you need to do is to locate the WordPress loop box uh, and to replace this box with the singular product template box from here. Uh, so, the first step would be to press your shift button when you are hovering the singular product template. Then you click on the singular product template and you drag it to the same box where the WordPress loop is located. So, you just, uh, once you have uh, hovering the box uh, where the WordPress loop is uh, located, you just release the box so that it appears here. Once this is done, you need to remove the WordPress loop and all its content from here. Uh, probably you will also need to remove a uh, previous and next post link here. So what you do is you remove your WordPress loop and you save your template. Okay, you are finished with a singular product template and we will continue with your uh, main shop template uh, and a product category and tags templates. So when you go to product archive template here, this template is created by Thesis uh, by copying the archive templates. So you do the same steps uh, as you did for a singular product, but in now you will be dragging the product archive template. So you press shift key, uh, you drag your uh, box into the uh, uh, box where your WordPress loop is located. Then uh, on this archive templates you need to remove the archive info. So you press the shift key and you drag the box here in this section to remove it. And you remove the WordPress loop as well. So here you go, you've done. So you just save your template here. Then you repeat the same action for uh, product category and product, product tag. So once the template is loaded, you just drag this one here. You remove the ones that you do not need and you save your template. Make sure you drag your boxes into this section and not this one at the bottom because the, when you drag something here and you save your template, the box uh, will be destroyed and it will not be available on any other templates. You do not want uh, to remove your WordPress loop nor your Archive Intros boxes, so you just drag them above and you save your template. So once your template are done, uh, you are ready to go and create products uh, just to make some tests to see uh, how, uh, whether your skin is compatible with WooCommerce. So, uh, see you in the next video, guys.